In this video, I will explain how to join our Google Class and then how to use the different features in Google Classroom. You were all sent an invitation to join this class to your UH Gmail account. Please find that email, open it, and then all you have to do is click on Join Class. Just like that, and then you're automatically in the class. You'll be redirected to our Google Classroom and you will land on this stream page. This is where I can leave announcements for you, so please make sure you check that out each week. And then the majority of the work for this class is in our classwork. So we'll go ahead and click on classwork, and you'll see some different headings. The first is the course syllabus. You just need to click on that, and then you can click on this link to be uh, redirected to a Google document to read our syllabus. And then the next heading is for the weekly lessons. And instead of being in a classroom, either in person or via Zoom, the content for this course is contained in these weekly lessons. So we'll go ahead and click on week one, and each week I will add a new lesson. These are presented via Google Slides. And once the Google Slides opens, you'll want to change it from view to, or from this um, screen where you see all the little individual slides to the slideshow view. And that is because there are videos embedded in this presentation. And then if you're in the slideshow mode, you can click on the videos and watch those. My internet is super slow today. Each presentation will begin with a slide of a different Vahipana, which is a storied or sacred or legendary place in Hawaii, because essays three and four, you will write about a Vahipana that you choose. You can just click enter to go to the next slide. And please note that these are hyperlinks, so anything underlined you'll need to click on to be redirected. And in this case, this will just take you to each of these specific topics. We'll go ahead and start with the first, which is the writing process. And as I mentioned, there are hyperlinks in the slides, so please make sure to click on those, read all of that information, so you have a link to the writing process here, and then you have a link to some examples of pre-writing here, and then Please make sure you watch all of the videos. And I suggest watching those videos on YouTube because then you can adjust the settings, the quality, you can turn on the closed caption and whatnot. So let's make sure, go to the next slide. When you hit enter, it usually will try to just start playing the video. So we'll just hit enter until we can progress to, there we go, the next slide. And I'm going to jump ahead to the last slide. In the last slide, there is a link to a Google form, and that is a lesson reflection assignment. All you have to do is click on this, and you'll be redirected to the form. And all you have to do is just fill, answer the questions, or only four sh uh, short questions, and then when you're finished, hit submit and it's really easy. This actually counts as a homework assignment, and this will be for each weekly, <clears throat> then there will be a separate Google form for you to answer. So we'll go ahead and close out the slides and go back to, whoops, I did not mean to do that, our classwork page. And the next heading is for assignments. And I want to go back to essay number one. First, let's just look at the Ka'al reflection assignment. And you'll learn more about the Ka'al model in the Google presentation that we were just looking at. So my internet's super slow. When I first clicked on this, the actual assignment didn't load. So if that happens to you, just wait a little bit and the assignment will load. So what you need to do click on the assignment to open it. Once you do that, your own copy is made. So you can type directly on the assignment. <clears throat> and 
And when you're finished, super slow on my internet today, you get rid of this. So when you're finished with the assignment, you can click on this turn in little uh, button and that will submit the assignment for you and that's all you have to do. So you can leave a comment for me if you choose to do so. You don't have to do that. And then you get this little pop up again, turn in, and then you can go ahead and click. Click out of that, click turn in, and you have an option to unsubmit and then resubmit the assignment if it's within the period that it's uh, due. So not applying to anything that's late in case maybe you want to add something or change something, you have that option. And let's go ahead and go back to our classwork section. So in the classwork section, you will see that, <coughs> excuse me, your work was turned in. For the creating thesis and outline and rough draft assignments, there are some separate videos linked in or embedded in the Google Slides presentation with more information about those assignments specifically. But I wanted to show you essay number one because this looks a little bit different. As you can see, when you click on it, there will not be an option that says um, just to simply turn this in because I set it up differently. This is for your final draft of your essay. So when you get to that point, you'll have some different options in terms of how you want to submit your work. And I just have a sample document to, pre to kind of play around with. So again, this just has the information about the essay, what you'll be writing about, and then you'll go through some different steps in terms of the Ka'al reflection, the outline, and then the rough draft as homework assignments to help you build up to writing your final draft for this assignment. So uh, I just made this blank document and I'm going to pretend like this is my final draft of my assignment but I'm going to submit. I'm going to hit the share button in the upper right hand corner and then where it says restricted I'm going to change this to University of Hawaii and then from viewer to commenter is fine. I don't need to be an editor and then we'll copy the link. I'm going to go back to this assignment setting Oops. and when you click on essay number one and you actually click view instructions this is what will pop up so you'll see um, this is how you're going to submit your work so just to note too, originality report available I'm using this instead of Turnitin.com as a plagiarism and AI detector but we'll talk more about that later. So we can click on this button that says add or create and then we can choose link and you can actually just go straight to your Google Drive to get to your link but I already copied the link so I'm going to click on link and I'm going to paste that link from the document here click on add link and then I will go ahead and mark as done and your work has been submitted. Back in the classwork section you'll see that it says for essay number one that it was turned in. So turning in the homework assignments is pretty easy. Hopefully it won't pose any challenges for you but if you have any questions or you need some help going through this process I'm happy to meet with you and we can do it together. And then I also wanted to point out, this is the reflection that's linked to the Google slide that I mentioned previously. So if we just look at view instructions, 
you'll have a link to that Google form. So there are two places where you can find this. And then for each week, you will have a discussion activity. You can go ahead and click on that and look at view instructions. And then you'll see that you'll be redirected to this page that says flip. And this is where you will have your weekly discussions. And I forgot to mention that you can go ahead as, and mark as done after you finish this. But you don't have to submit anything. You just need to go to flip and then record your video. And I will access that part of the assignment here. So I'm also going to send an invitation for all of you to join our flip class. Your instructions are to record yourself. So you'll introduce yourself. What um, name do you want to be? Do you want us to use in this class for yourself if it's other than what's on the class roster? Your preferred pronouns. And then what is your HUA? Why are you at Hawaii ECC? If you're at another college or campus, that's fine. But basically, why are you attending college? What's your purpose or your reason? So um, you'll learn more about HUA, this term specifically in the Ka'au model when you um, review the Google slide presentation. So that's the first part. And then the second part is to comment on at least two of your classmates' posts. You don't have to record yourself for this part. You can just type in a comment. And you will have a new discussion each week throughout this summer session. Next week, you'll have a peer review assignment, and that will also be using a different platform, but I will make a separate video specifically for that um, assignment next week. So look out for that next week. And then the last header is resources. So this is a poster for the Ka'au model. This is also linked in the Google Slides presentation, but I put it here as well um, as another place for you to find this source. And then this is just an additional um, slideshow. It's not mandatory that you watch this, but if you want some um, more information about revising and editing your own work, then um, feel free to check this out. To get back to Google Classroom after you've left, you just need to go to your drive. You can get to your drive through your email. I already have my drive open here. So once you're in your drive, you can just go to the apps and look for Classroom. There are other ways to find Classroom as well. Um, and then jump back to our class. I'll make a separate video talking about how to organize your work in Google Drive, just as a resource in case some of you are unfamiliar with using Google Drive. The last uh, piece I wanted to show you is that after you start turning in your assignments, you can go to this very top section that says view your work and it will show I use my husband's <laughs> email to set up a student account um, it'll show what's been assigned what you've turned in once points have been awarded you'll see the points that you received for these assignments and then up here we'll have your total grade your cumulative or overall grade so you can keep track of your grade throughout this um, summer course I know there's a lot of information. Um, please click around, play around with the different features in Google Classroom. And if you have any questions at all, please email me. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can to make sure that you're on track and everything goes smoothly this semester. Mahalo.